Hello and welcome to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One, where we're going to be making grilled Philly steak and cheese sandwiches with a horseradish mayo dipping sauce. So let's get started. It's really pretty simple. There's not a lot of ingredients. We'll go ahead and get started with our vegetables. We're going to use a yellow onion. We're going to use a green pepper, and you could use a red pepper or a yellow pepper, but green peppers are about half the price of a red pepper, so we're going to stick with that. And then we're also going to use some mushrooms. So if you don't like any of these, then by all means, just kind of keep it off of the menu. You don't have to use it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start with my onion. And a lot of times when I cook my onions or cut my onions up, I cut them up pretty fine. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to keep them pretty, pretty good size. That way um, they're, I don't know, I think they're just a little bit better on our sandwiches that way. So I'm going to use about a half of an onion. And like I said, I'm just going to kind of cut them into uh, long strings a little bit. So we'll get those cut up. Okay. So we've got our onions there, so I'm going to kind of keep those off to the side here. And now I'm going to work on my green pepper. And I'm going to do the same thing with my green pepper. I'm going to kind of cut it into chunks, but I'm going to get some of the, the seeds and stuff like that out first. Great thing about working outside is you can just dump stuff on the ground. So. Okay, so we've got our green pepper kind of cut in half, and then I'm just going to slice it. I'm going to try to keep it somewhat thin, or as thin as possible, I should say. Okay, just about like so. And we'll go ahead and get all of it cut up. Okay, so there we go. We've got our green pepper and our onions. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these started in my skillet. And I've got a cast iron skillet already on the grill and it's getting nice and hot. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter in there to saute that in. So I'm going to put the butter in the skillet. where it's nice and hot. And then we'll go ahead and we're gonna add our green peppers and our onions. We got a little bit of wind today, so we'll hope we keep the grill lit up. All right, so we've got those sauteing. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get ready for our mushrooms. So not a lot of people are huge mushroom fans, and I wasn't, but I don't mind them cooked and just not plain. So we're just going to slice them up. And these will, these are already kind of soft, so you don't need to cook these quite as long. And like I said, if you don't like mushrooms or you don't like onions, green peppers, you can leave it off. Just about ready here. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go a little light on the mushrooms just because I know my cameraman doesn't like mushrooms. So, so we're gonna go ahead and give these a little bit of stir. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to our pan. So there's our salt. There's our pepper. All right. So we've got our vegetables going. So the next thing for our grilled Philly steak and cheese sandwich 
is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on the meat part of it. I've made this a couple different ways just with some regular roast and different things like that, but what I found works the best is ribeye steaks. So that's what we're gonna do today. We don't wanna skimp here. So, and what I did, this works out really good, is this started out as an inch thick steak and I went to my local grocery store and I went back to the meat department and they actually sliced it about a quarter of an inch thick for me, which works great because we can put this on the grill, throw a little bit of salt and pepper on it here real quick, put it on the grill and kind of char up both sides of it and it'll cook up quick and then we can kind of cut it up from there. So if you've got a meat department that'll do that, that's what I suggest you doing it because it works great that way. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little S&P on here. Okay, some salt. And pepper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on the grill. I'm going to grill it on both sides and that way we get a nice grill mark going on both sides of it. And then from there we'll take it off and cut it up a little bit more. And the reason why we don't cut it up now is because if we did it would fall through the grates. And it's so much better to cook this on the grill than it would be in a skillet or something. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If you want to, you could even go to the grocery store. A lot of times they have in a box, they have like some steak meat and you can use that for your sandwich, but that'd be kind of cheating. So we're gonna kind of do this legit here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our steak on the grill. We're gonna let that grill on both sides. So while that's going, we're gonna take a break and we'll be back in just a minute. Make a difficult choice an easy one with Cedar View Assisted Living's knowledgeable and caring staff. Your loved one will be professionally taken care of as they transition into their new community. With movies, holiday parties, planned exercises and games, residents will have opportunities every day to enjoy their time at Cedar View. Multiple room styles are available, ensuring a just right fit for your loved one. Come see Cedar View Assisted Living for yourself next to Sternberg Museum. The care you need, the home you want. Safety at a peace of mind price. Next Tech Wireless introduces the simple starter plan. For only $15 per month, you can rest easy knowing you can always reach your child on their smartphone. The plan includes unlimited calling, unlimited texting, and unlimited data while on Wi-Fi. You don't have to worry about data overages and your child will enjoy all the benefits of a smartphone. It's the simple starter plan from Next Tech Wireless. Unlimited talk, text, and data while on Wi-Fi for only $15 per month. Your house is more than just a house. It's a home for your family to grow. It's a place where you feel the most comfortable and can be yourself. Shop at Paul's Furniture Company in Selden so your family can select the perfect pieces for all the rooms in your house. With over 17,000 square feet of selection, they are sure to have the styles that will please everyone, even the kids. Visit Paul's Furniture Company in Selden where they'll help you feel at home. Visit us online at paulsfurnitureco.com. All Face Funeral Chapel and Smith Center can help you and your loved ones prepare for a difficult time with pre-arranged funeral planning. Not only will it be a stress reliever during a tough time, it will save your family money by locking in a guaranteed rate so funeral costs will be less of a burden. Pre-arranged funeral plans now have options to make paying for a funeral easier, such as a 3, 5, and 7 year payment option. Call 785-686-4120 or visit allfacefuneralchapel.com. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling where we're making grilled Philly steak and cheese sandwiches with a horseradish dipping sauce, but we're not to that point yet. So what we've done, just a little bit of recap, is we have our green peppers, our mushrooms, and our onions in here sauteing in some butter. Looks great. And then what we had is we had our ribeye steak and remember I took it to the uh, local meat department and they sliced it pretty thin? Well, this is our final product. So I let it grill on both sides. It should be done if it's a little pink, that's okay. I took it off and I've let it sit here for about five minutes because once you, or when you cook meat, you wanna make sure you let it rest. So I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming here because 
If I was at home, I would get in trouble if I didn't trim some of the fat off. We'll set that kind of aside here a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this steak into strips. And then we're going to, once it's all cut up, we're going to put it right back in. We better try a piece here. Good? Good? So once it's done, we're going to put it back in with our peppers and our onions and our mushrooms. And we're going to finish this off. So we've got a couple more steps left. So we'll get this all cut up here. And like I said, this is all going back on the grill. So even if it wasn't quite done, you still got another chance for it to cook. So we'll get this all trimmed up. This is where you need one of those big old meat cleavers and you can just chop it. And then you can also kind of pick out some of the fatty pieces. Like I said, that don't bother me as much, but some people hate that. So we'll try to trim it up as good as possible here. And this is about, like I said, this is two ribeye steaks that we we trimmed to about a quarter of an inch thick and we put a little bit of s and p a little salt and pepper on it just to for taste and then we grilled it on both sides and uh, really nice and tender which is what you want with a good philly cheese steak sandwich i tried to use once before a roast which was good but I think I, I like the, the, the ribeye steak a little better just because it, it's just a little bit more tender and especially if you can get it cut into a thin strip like we've done here, it cooks up quicker and it's just a lot better on our sandwich. So we'll get this all cut just like so and we'll get it back into our peppers and what I've done is I've started actually another cast iron skillet with some peppers we're just gonna put some meat in there and then we're gonna put the rest of our meat into our other skillet so our meat to peppers and onions ratio vegetable ratio is quite a bit it favors the meat quite a bit so we're just gonna stir that up just like so okay we're gonna let that kind of cook so it kind of all cooks together here a little bit now the one thing we haven't gone over yet is our cheese for our Philly steak and cheese sandwich. And what we're gonna use is, sometimes you can use like a cheese sauce where you pour it over the sandwich, but what we're gonna go for is we're gonna use a little bit of provolone and then my favorite cheese, like I've said before, is Munster cheese. I love the taste of it. We actually went to Wisconsin this year and bought a five pound block of it and this is what's left. So. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to make, we're going to separate our skillet. So we're going to try to make about three sandwiches. These are going to be pretty thick. So we're going to separate our skillet here a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some provolone on each side and then I'm going to put some of our Munster cheese in there too. So we're using both kinds of cheese on both sandwiches.
just like that. Here, tell you what, since you can't probably see it as well, we'll go ahead and pull it out so you can take a look at it. So, here we go. We have our cheese, we have our provolone and our Munster, and I kind of divided it in half so we can put each side on a sandwich. So, tell you what, we're gonna take another break. We're gonna let this sit in the grill, and we're gonna let that cheese just kind of melt down into those peppers and that meat and then we're gonna put it on our sandwich. And so when we come back, we'll do that, so don't go away. Here in the Heartland, we make things homemade with precision and care. Robin Insurance is no different. Their family creates tailored plans to keep your family safe. They are a family owned and operated agency that also offers commercial, farm, and crop insurance. With quick, fair claims, your matter will be held professionally and with excellent customer service. Robin Insurance, the corner post of insurance since 1936. See their ad in the next tech directory. The Rusty Tractor in Kensington offers big city dining with a small town feel. The Rusty Tractor features hand cut steaks, burgers, wraps and more, all with generous portions and quality products. The Rusty Tractor is proud to serve the area farming communities and welcomes everyone. Come as you are in your boots and jeans. You'll be right at home. Open daily and conveniently located on Highway 36. For more information, find them on Facebook or for a full menu, visit RustyTractorKensington.com. Here come the men in black trucks for all your home needs. If you need repairs or a professional to check your home for damage, call the local guys you know and trust at AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Their five-year warranty will give you the peace of mind you need from a company that will be there to stand behind their work. Call AquaShield Roofing and Construction at 785-475-2533 or visit AquaShieldRoofing.com today. The plumber said there's something wrong with my water. It looks like you have hard water. You need a water softener. Let me show you the options we have. Hey, do you guys deliver salt? We sure do. What about drinking water? We have water coolers and drinking water systems. We even have bottled water. Find us on Facebook and itsbetterwater.com. And remember, it's not in water. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling, where we're making grilled Philly steak and cheese sandwiches. They're on the grill. Oh, they look great, man, because they got all that cheese kind of melt. Oh, looks good. So before we take those off and build our sandwiches, though, I told you we were going to make a horseradish dipping sauce. So we're going to go ahead and do that really quickly here. And this is like stupid simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and I'm not going to measure this but I will tell you what it is. So we're gonna put about half a cup of sour cream. Does that look like about a half a cup? Okay, so we've got our half a cup of sour cream and then we have some pure horseradish. And I have some measuring spoons in here. Might wanna measure this. This may be a little potent. So, and I'm gonna use a teaspoon of horseradish and I may use a liberal amount that's about right okay <laughs> so we got that I'm gonna use a little bit of just I would have a lime but I don't have one so I'm gonna put a little lime juice in there and then a little bit of some garlic salt shake or two this is to taste so I usually have somebody that goes back after I'm all done and they watch this so they can put together a recipe because I don't ever measure anything out. So we're going to get as close as possible here. So we're going to mix this up just like that. And like I said, it's to taste. So yep, I'm digging it. We might put a little bit more garlic salt in there. And what the heck, we might put just a tad bit more horseradish in there. It's just a dipping sauce. It's not gonna go on the sandwich. 
And you don't even have to use it if you don't want to. Okay, so there's our dipping sauce. We're gonna go ahead and set it aside. Put our lid back on our sour cream. Okay, now the fun part, my favorite part, which it's not that fun in the wind, but we're gonna get through it here. So I've got here some tin foil and I'm gonna use my cutting board to help kind of weight it down. And I'm gonna use my horseradish dipping sauce to wet the other end down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bread. Now, little secret about this bread. I picked this up at a local sandwich shop and it's day old bread that they use for their sandwiches and they sell it really cheap. Plus it's really good. So that's what I'm using for our bread. If you don't use this, you can use like a hoagie roll or something like that. But I like this cause it's kind of, it's just good. So um, now then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our ooey, gooey, cheesy goodness of steak and peppers and mushrooms and we're gonna build us a sandwich. So take this off, look at that. That is goodness right there. So we're gonna take it off and we're gonna build our sandwiches here. Okay. All right, so there is one. We'll kind of sit this here. Now, what I, oh, this is even good because see this part right here? It's that grilled cheese where it's, oh, I like that. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna put this in our bun here and we're gonna roll it up like a burrito. And the trick is, is to roll this up, you know, we're gonna roll it up like a burrito. So we're gonna roll it up kind of snug. Okay, just like that. So you can kind of see that it, it actually shrunk a little bit because we rolled it up so tight. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it on the grill and hopefully the rest of my aluminum foil doesn't blow away. We're gonna take our other bread here because we don't want any of this stuff to go to waste and we're gonna build our other sandwich. You know, there's a little bit of butter left in there. It's okay if it gets on there. Okay. So, there's our other sandwich. We're gonna roll it up like a burrito too. Just like that. All right, we're gonna put that on the grill and we're gonna let that go for about Oh, I'm gonna say 10 to 15 minutes and we're just gonna let that kind of cook in that aluminum foil. So I knew we were gonna be short on time. So what I did was I started one before we came back from break. Whew. And it's this one right here. So this one's been on the grill for about 10 minutes. Let me clean up my mess here a little bit. Okay. So we have the one that's been on the grill for about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and undo it here. Oh, look at that. Whew. It's a little warm. Now, it's not wet. You know, it doesn't make the bread all wet, but it kind of makes it moist because it's been sitting in there and cooking. So we'll cut it in half here. We'll get our plate. Look at that. Our Philly steak and cheese sandwich. Oh, and we were gonna put a little bit of our horseradish dipping sauce right there. So there we go. We have our grilled Philly steak and cheese sandwich with our horseradish dipping sauce. 
You know what? If you're interested in this or any of the shows that we've done, you can check us out on YouTube or you can like us on Facebook and also go out and check us out on Pinterest and Instagram and Snapchat and all that good stuff. So I'm glad you guys joined us. Hope you try this at home and we'll see you later.